This may be one of the most useful wall clocks I've ever seen. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's a calendar day clock. Now, I have heard some people refer to these as dementia clocks for people who struggle to remember what day or time it is. Now, I can understand why that is, and that is because this thing is chock full of a lot of information. Now, I actually don't know that that's entirely fair because a lot of us need this information. I tell you what, I'm so busy. I don't know if it's Monday or Friday sometimes. I don't know if it's a weekend or a weekday sometimes. Sometimes I'm just working at all hours of the night sometimes i need to be up in the morning for a particular meeting or something like that so this one is not just a big wall clock that has information but it also has this little iconography here to show you day or night which is really awesome especially if you are maybe say tracking the time in another time zone right so sometimes I talk to some of my friends in Asia or in other countries or even a couple of my friends in Hawaii and they are five hours behind me. And sometimes it doesn't dawn on me that when I'm sending that text message, it's three in the morning or something out there. So that's why something like this could be really useful. Now, I wanna show you this here in just a second, but I do wanna show you inside the box, we get a few accessories that are right over there. There they are. All right, so first of all, we get this. This looks like a little plastic antenna, but I think it is a kickstand. So you can screw that into the back here so you can put it on a shelf and it will sit up. Now, I will also show you that there is a little key mod hole there so you can put a screw in the wall and hang this on the wall. I actually think that that's probably maybe the best way to do it. We also get a two prong outlet right here and a single prong connector and that will plug into the side right there going into the side so you don't actually have it sticking straight out the back then what we also get here is this little remote control and you can see here we get the power button and then controls to kind of navigate around and select i also want to show you that on the back of the clock we get basically the same controls here so if you do lose this so the battery's not working you know because it loses charge you just pull this out to activate that battery and then we also have a little battery tray right in here so you can take this out probably runs on your typical watch battery cr 2025 right there in case you need to replace it goes in there but if you don't have that you can adjust everything right here on the clock so what i want to show you here is the physical tour of this thing first of all i would say it's about six inches tall and maybe about eight inches wide we do have this matte plastic frame around there it has a slight beveled edge right there so the clock face actually sits just a little bit lower looks like we have the infrared receiver right there and so it's not just like a flat panel display like a tv kind of looks like an old school tv in some ways and then it's actually pretty thin this back flares out here i would say that this is about an inch thick in total not including this little bad boy and then what you might be able to see here is that we have that control panel and then right here we have all of your input so i want to rotate it like this so that you can read them here we have an sd mmc so you can put an sd card in there looks like we have a little three and a half millimeter headphone jack right there we have a usb port in there as well we also have a little port right there which is mini usb which is actually not a plug that a lot of people have anymore but was very very popular back in the blackberry days and then the power cable port right there so let's go ahead and get this plugged in and set it see if it's easy to use and see how customizable it is all right just plugged it in and the screen came on there and what i like about this is that it's actually a fairly high contrast it's pretty easy to read but it's not overly bright so if you don't want something that is like having a tv on that is just casting a lot of bright light this is it because it's actually pretty dim it's nice easy to read at a glance but it's also not projecting a lot of light i actually did a review of like those word clocks and the light in that really is bright in fact you wouldn't want to have that in your bedroom because it is so bright now one of the things i want to show you here is that depending on when you're watching this i can tell you that the time and the date is actually pretty close to when i am filming this it's not exactly on and so that is kind of a telltale sign that it's not reading something but i'm not sure how it got so close if they programmed this in the factory or if it's picking up something i kind of don't think it is but i'm a little surprised it is not july 25th but we're not that far off of it so i do want to show you here we do have a power button and if i hit it i can turn it on and off just turns the screen on and off as you can see it comes back on very very quickly now the okay button here is how we change modes on this little bad boy so i'm just going to go ahead and hit the modes and what you can see here is that we get a little moon right there and if i hit mode again uh, we get to this here where it says 12:41 a.m there's no icon there if i hit it again now we get the moon back hit it again we get to this analog clock face and hit it again now we have analog clock face with the 
moon icon. So what I actually really like here is the one that is digital, so I can just see it at a glance with the moon icon. So I can just glance up there and it says midnight, but I know it's night. So I don't even have to look at the AM or PM. And especially if you're working with someone in a different time zone and it's like 13 hour time difference, 10 hour time difference, you know, it could be a different day and it could be an opposite end of the day as well. So I really like that. Now, what I also wanna show you here is we have up and down arrows and left and right. And what I think I can do here is change the colors on this bad boy. So I'm gonna hit the up color and now it's blue. It's almost a little hard to read. It's like we have a green, yellow, so, and a red, and back to white. I would say, I feel like that's kind of my favorite, but if you have some sort of motif in your room, maybe aquarium lights you're trying to match, you know, maybe a disco ball, something like that, you know, something might be a little easier in your eyes. Actually, that yellow is kind of nice, and the red might be something if you have a very dark room that you might like, but I like that. Now, if I hit left and right here, what that does is it also looks like it just kind of changes the colors. So, all right, pretty cool. Now, the last thing I want to show you here is this menu button. And if I hit that, what I can do here is I can go to all these different settings. So what you can see is I can navigate down and select language. I can set the time. So I'm obviously going to have to change the time and the date. I can go from 12 hour time clock, which is kind of standard to military time, especially if that helps you just kind of know morning, evening. You know, I like that sometimes, especially if I am wearing a watch and I just want quick times. You know, that's pretty cool. But you can change all of that right here. So obviously I'm going to have to do that. But if I just go ahead and hit exit here, I am really liking this thing. Like I said, they call it a dementia clock, or at least that's kind of a term I've heard for it. I don't know that that's totally fair because I can see this being very useful. I get it for myself so that I know what is going on in other time zones for people that I communicate with, people that I text a lot, people that I work with, you know, so that I don't bug them at weird, weird times. So if you want to pick this up because it's just going to help you at a glance, kind of like me, then I'll put a link to this in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can stop more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. Peter Von Panda. Ooh, so as mere.